Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video to help you experience something new today. I'm really angry about this game. It's not because the game is garbage. No, it's not. But this game had a great potential to be one of our dream games on Gear VR and Warner Bros and DC messed it up and ruined this beautiful dream. They rushed the game and gave us something completely average which is in my opinion disappointing and in this video I will explain why. Justice League has a super cool concept. We are finally be able to play a VR game as our favorite superheroes. The game consists of 6 different minigames and in each minigame you actually play as a superhero. You can play as Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, Cyborg, Aquaman, and The Flash. In the Wonder Woman minigame, you will use your sword to destroy your enemies. In the Batman game, you use your vehicle to drive. In Superman experience, you can fly and chase the enemies. In Aquaman, you face an underwater creature. In The Flash, you stop a bomb. And finally, in Cyborg, you use your guns to take out enemy drones. The graphics and voice acting in the opening scene seems really good and I was really excited to play the game. However, the only good, maybe not good, acceptable experiences are Wonder Woman and Batman 1, if you can get used to the weird control system of the car. Other than that, it's a complete failure for the developers, at least in my opinion. First thing I don't like about Justice League is AI. The enemies are super stupid <laughs> and their intelligence is lower than a whiteboard. In Wonder Woman experience, you will see the enemies keep shooting the tower even if you stand in one meter distance from them, or even if you stand right behind them. They will lose you in the map, they will search for you, and <laughs> it's crazy, it's, it's just ridiculous. Next thing I don't like about Justice League is controls. The game does support Gear VR motion controller, but the controls are definitely not good. In each minigame, you have a little bit different controls, and in my opinion, none of them is great. The most weird thing is developers didn't use trigger button for fire or shooting, or for anything. They instead like to use the touchpad for anything. The controls in the Batman experience, in the Flash experience, and in the Aquaman experience are awful. It's really difficult to even control the character in the way you want, and buttons are, are so confusing. I honestly couldn't understand how to control how the controls works in Batman experience until I finally found a weird position to hold the controller and finally be able to drive. It's just ridiculous. I don't like these kinds of controls. You could easily use trigger button for shooting or boost your car speed and then use the touchpad for switching between weapons or use the shield, like all of the other games on the Gear VR. Next. Bugs, lags and glitches. I had very weird and unbelievable glitches on this game. The camera angle suddenly changed from top of the table to the bottom of the table. The game freezes frequently. There was some glitches and lags here and there. And overall, it wasn't a smooth experience for me. Next, graphics. If you see the trailer of this game on the Oculus Store, you see a super high resolution graphics animations with stunning effects on top of that. But when you start the game, the graphics looks completely different and in my opinion they definitely need to use higher resolution textures instead of these pixelated backgrounds. Next. This is weird because this game make my S8 Plus super hot. I never experienced any overheat issues in my S8 Plus and Gear VR before this game but I think there is something wrong with the optimization of the game for a mobile device. Finally, super short, shallow and boring gameplay. The game is immersive and for example Wonder Woman experience is fun but the gameplay in most of the most of these mini games are generic, repetitive and boring. You should keep shooting damn drones, you should keep chasing enemies and you know there is not enough mere variation to enemy types or gameplay. My final verdict for Justice League VR is unfortunately a 5 out of 10. You will enjoy the game if you like superheroes, but even with Gear VR standards, these minigames are average. They don't have any specific or new mechanism or gameplay element. If Warner Bros. or DC decide to add more features, improve graphics, and fix glitches, then I would like to increase the game score. 
But until that time, I see you guys in the next review. Farewell.